Hi, what are you doing? <laughs> you got me eating. Oh, don't do that. I'm not. I'm not tasty. I'm not tasty. Wait, what is your what is your least favorite food? What is I, it? I will eat brains. Do green I apples? Eat brains. You eat brains? <laughs> what is wrong with you? You're three years old. You can't like brains. Why <laughs> do <laughs> you think this is so funny? I'm not okay with this. <laughs> Hi, my name is Devin. Welcome to another video. This is the second episode in the Home Gym Build series. If you haven't seen the first one, go check it out. But just a quick recap if you haven't. In the first episode, we installed this rubberized gym flooring. I built the weight bench and the deadlifting platform. In this video, I need to organize all of these weight plates and dumbbells you see strewn everywhere. And I need to put together this power rack, also known as a pain cage. So stick around, make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you after I've had some coffee. I need to get some cardio and I need some calories. So I'll see you after that. Right, so with that out of the way, it's time to start building. I should mention that I actually tried to buy all of the stuff for this home gym. But with this pandemic going on, it has been impossible to find everything. Well, at least to find everything at a reasonable price. We got the weight plates for about $1.50 per pound. Half of them we got from Providence, which is 40 miles north of us, and the other half of them we got from Connecticut, another hour, hour and a half to the west of us. The dumbbells we already had, all of the bands and the jump ropes we already had before we started the home gym build. The bench we bought on Amazon, the power rack we bought on Amazon, the deadlifting platform I had to build, and now the dumbbell rack and the weight plate rack I have to build. Some of the parts I have here in house from the deck that we built earlier this summer, I have some leftover materials, but some of the parts I still need to go pick up from Home Depot. All right, let's get started. I just ran out of N95 masks, so. And it's done. That took me maybe about an hour to make at the most. This is all scrap material, so it cost me about, well, it costs nothing for me to make, but if you wanted to make this, it's probably going to cost you around maybe 20 bucks, 30 bucks, depending. Uh, very simple, it's four by four legs. There's two of them. They're about 24 inches high each. These boards are four feet lengthwise. These boards on the side, so depth, that's about two feet. And so it's a four by two dumbbell platform. This is holding all of our random dumbbells. We've got our Bowflex dumbbells that are adjustable in different weights. We've got Torrens dumbbell, it needed to go somewhere. And we've got some other low weight dumbbells. We've got some ankle braces and some other things here. It's a catch all for all the random stuff that we have. Is it your traditional dumbbell rack? No, but this is what we need and it serves that purpose. And we've got storage for odd items and random things underneath. This is perfect for us. All I did in the back side, which you can't see from where the camera is right now, where I fastened it to the wall, I took a two by four, it's about four feet long, and I just fastened it to the wall and I fastened the whole dumbbell platform right to it. So this isn't going anywhere. Uh, you can put as much weight on this thing as you want and it's not gonna be a problem. Right, so with this thing out of the way, the next thing on the agenda is chicken.
I can't let the chicken win. Sounds like it's having some trouble. This is terrible. I'm a bad dad. This is terrible. Here, try it. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah, try it. It smells like chicken. It smells like chicken. <laughs> it smells like chicken. Yeah, I like chicken. <laughs> you like chicken nuggets. Come on, eat it. You know? It is. It's chicken nuggets. It's chicken nuggets inside of this. Yeah, it smells like chicken. <laughs> it smells like chicken. Here we go. I can't let the chicken win. My mistake. <sighs> What's in yours? Oh, you've got, you've got a smoothie in yours. Yep. Can you go? <laughs> Oh, it smells so bad. Yeah. It smells. It smells. It smells worse than it tastes. Yeah. Mine is. Mine has chocolate in it. Can I put it? In I there? wish I was eating that one. Yeah. You should have put chocolate in there because mine has chocolate. Oh my in god! It. You want this? No. Mm, you sure? Yeah, because I put chocolate in mine because I love chocolate. Not chicken. If I chew it, it doesn't. It's almost like I'm actually eating it. We're going to have to time lapse this. Last little bit. And we're back. Okay, the next thing I need to do is I need to wall mount all of these weight plates that you see laying all over the ground. I'm gonna do that with a few pieces of scrap wood that I have. I'm gonna nail these, or I should say, I'm gonna screw these to the studs on the wall. Then I'm going to take these threaded pipe feet, and I'm gonna screw those right on top of these. Then I'm gonna take these, these are steel pipes that I got from Home Depot for like seven bucks a piece. These are, I think, $3 a piece. Grand total of materials is like maybe 20 bucks. These pipes are going to screw right onto the pipe feet, and then we're gonna have our weight tree mounted to the wall. I think weight trees go for around 50 to $100 if you buy them used. I'm not sure what they are new, but they've gotta be more than that. And this is gonna save space because it's against the wall and it's like 20, 25 bucks at the most. So yeah, anyway. Should I do a time lapse or should I do like a snap? What do you think? We're gonna go with the, uh, we're gonna go with the snap. Okay, as you can see, I've got this thing loaded up with quite a bit of weight. These are all 45 pound plates. These are 35s, 25s, 10s, 5s. There's a lot of weight on this thing, and it's not a problem, so good to go. All right, guys and gals, this is the moment you've been waiting for. I have been getting ready to build the power rack. We're gonna put together an epic montage. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Torin, what did you do? Sorry, Dad, I couldn't wake any longer. We were supposed to assemble the power rack with a face-melting montage. You couldn't wait any longer? I needed to get my sets in. You need to get your sets in? Yes, whoa. What does that even mean? I have to wait my personal record. You're not even four years old. You don't have any personal weightlifting records. You need to spend your world cap jewelry. I don't... I don't know what's happening right now, but we need to get on with this video. The power rack, power cage, thousand pound capacity from Amazon. I'm not sure where the thousand pound capacity comes from because when you look in the description, it handles up to 800 pounds on the inside. If you were to drop weight on the inside of the cage, these safeties, on the outside it can hold around 550 pounds. So it's not exactly a thousand pound capacity, but it still has all the capacity that we need for our home gym. If I somehow manage to get way stronger than that, then sure, I'll go pick up a Rogue 
or some other kind of a, a power rack cage that could handle something more. But for now, this is definitely all that I need, all that most people need for their home gym. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.